MMA veteran, tons of pro grappling experience. I love uh, watching this guy. Oh, yeah. He's uh, exciting. Now, listen, taking on Unity's Sebastian Rodriguez, black belt under Marulo Santana, 30 and 6 as a black belt, 13 subs. Dude's got wins in 2022 over Pedro Marino, Alex Munoz. Like, dude's legit. Very Sebastian nice. Rodriguez is a big tough guy. Bingo, 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 bingo. Hunter Colvin, Sebastian Rodriguez. Winner's going to take on Dan Martinez. That's what I walked out to. Uh, my wrestling Hunter Colvin. That's why I grew up on there. I, I love that. I'm old. I'm old. Over display of power. You need to go back on tour. What? Can't do it. Come back on tour. I'm back. We should go to a concert. Colvin Rodriguez, 10 minutes on the clock. I'm excited for this. Elimination one. round match. Winner to take on Dan Martinez in the quarterfinals of the bottom half of the left side of this bracket. Colvin inside tie here. Some feints immediately from Rodriguez. I don't mean to be that guy, but I'm assuming Rodriguez is the guy with the game. Correct. Correct. Colvin's Hunter be Colvin. Yeah, Brothers logo. Trains at Brothers. Trains at Triton. Oh. I think Triton. Or uh, uh, Brothers is Jams Parage, I believe. Very nice, aggressive down. push forward here from Rodriguez. And wow. look at this. Almost. Wow. A, oh, he is immediately past the guard here. Wow. I, I, this is again, listen, he's, he's 30 and 6 at Black Belt with half of those by way of sub. So Rodriguez, you know, while he has a lower seat in this bracket, is a monster. Yeah. You know? I, he, he's got wins over Paige Marino and, and Alex Munis in like the last like three months. Yeah. Back to a standing position. Collar tie to the inside this time. Again, you know, under unity, so he's going to be well-rounded under Murillo. Back to center here for Rodriguez. Both these guys very well rounded too. Nice foot sweep attempt here from Colvin. As far as legs go, you know, back, uh, overtime experience, like these guys are gonna be well rounded in every aspect. And I, I, I dig that, uh, I, I really think that Rodriguez isn't sitting either. Like yeah. he's, he's standing, there's oh, a nice double. Nice double. And look at how quickly Rodriguez able to get butterflies in and start. We have we have a skirmish in the stands. Yeah. People are flying everywhere. Yeah, and if there's ever somebody that's like down for fighting in the stands off the mat, it's Hunter Colvin. Yeah, <laughs> it's Hunter Colvin. Like yeah. he's down. I love watching the players when the guy was clubbing his head. He's like, "What? Like, let's go, dude." <laughs> yeah, he clubbed back. Was like, "Is this cool?" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm down. He ain't scared. Yeah, Polaris I like, the, fat. I, like the, I like the head movement of Rodriguez here. I like, I like his aggressiveness. Matching collar ties here. For Colvin and Rodriguez. Beautiful throw by. Little level change. Just let his head touch his chest. Nothing, uh, nothing to make Colvin sprawl. Still hanging heavy. You, know, you, you, tickled, the, you tickled the pickle there. I yeah. try. Yeah. Gino, Gino busted out some fucking Pantera back in the day. I did. Yeah. <laughs> That's some shit. Like, yeah. Pantera Megadeth. Fuck yeah, there you go. Iron Maiden. There you go. Okay. Collar elbow tie. You see Colvin. Nice level change here from Rodriguez. He's oh, he's tight on that head and arm. Oh, he's going to have to ditch it. And immediately looks offensive attack to the leg. Tried to elevate to get to that inside Senkaku. Rodriguez aware. Allowed his hips to elevate and immediately planted right back down to a good base. Colvin trying to invert across either to that other side, but uh, Rodriguez had did a very good job of stifling the inversion leg, that secondary right hand. Trying to pass off to his right now is Rodriguez. Back to the feet. 
Yeah. Oh, that's what I was just looking at. I mean, they're only, they're not even halfway through this round yet. It's definitely an action pack, uh, basically, you know, no, we, oh, we're standing not at, we're not at the semi no, no. This no, is no. the it's elimination first round. round. Yeah, elimination round. We go to the round eight now. <laughs> Back to center. Let's see if they do it. Matt's calling for self slam. LeDuc says no. <laughs> LeDuc waved him off. <laughs> Trying to get through to the back here off that throw by is Colvin. Something tells me, I, I don't know, I see, I see Hunter catching the choke. He's threatened it twice already. Dude, I've seen him hit some, I judged a few of his matches in uh, trials. Uh -oh. He's going for this Russian. Yeah, yeah let's. Russian. Russian. Uh -huh. Dude, fucking self slam, bro. He caught a good one, actually, at the trial. The diesel squeezel that he caught on Achilles Rocha. Yeah. I, I was the judge for that match. Oh, nice. And that came on quick. For self -slamming? What? What's the technical term for self slamming? Jumping guard. Jumping guard. Back to center here. Mercy grips in the center. Colvin pushing forward, head to head. I will say the competition is so is so good in here. I, I sense probably the next generation. I may have to do the whole thing. So it's uh, <laughs> you know, I have too many nerves going right now. I'm having, I'm having people tell me the... Uh, there it is, front choke. Yes, Double chain, there it is again, man. He looks for it. So he's got that deep 10 finger. And that's what I see. I mean, you can just tell this the third time that Hunter's attacked that. I just, uh, as time goes by here, you know, competitors get more tired. They become more relaxed days ago. You just see Hunter attacking that over and over and over again. I think. You're getting, you're getting lazy like a single mask. Correct. <laughs> or, no, or the, you're wearing one that's under your nose. Oh, well. Uh, because we all know how effective that is. Tries oh, again. This is. time he's going to get. Now, look Quarter, at that grip. Yeah. Darce? Yeah, trying. Inverted Katagatami off to the far side, trying to darse him up. Now, he locked the figure four up early. Right, like real early, like. This is bad. But if he can sit him onto that oh, shoulder, there bad. it is. This is. So bad. Now look, getting getting some uh, space, looking to get some space from the bottom is Rodriguez. But if if he's able to get over top of that arm, yep. that that top is. arm or that elbow of his left leg can get over top of that, it's going to be really Man, difficult for Rodriguez. For right now, he's. He Oh, oh, wow. Oh. Had to ditch it. Rodriguez wow. immediately looks to throw that leg over from the inversion. I'm going to be honest. I thought that was cooked. I, I thought, thought that, that was done right. once he got over that yeah. arm. But Rodriguez did him. Look at this. It inverted. inverts. Almost gets almost gets to like a false reap from here. Yep. He does. Double trouble. Double trouble. Release that leg. Colvin very choke. comfortable in that There's position. Back to this front gonna, head. In the choker. Head and armor trap. Let's see where he looks to move to. Did you see him try to control that wrist I first love that how he time? Controlled the wrist. That's beautiful. <laughs> Kept control of the head. Yep. I was trying to wrestle up. Rodriguez was trying to wrestle up. He controlled that wrist. Immediately put him to his back. Staying split squat here. Let's see if they push them back to center. Good reset, Joe McBride. The red one. The Sith, Joe McBride. Start back here. On his uh, weight gain program. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got two minutes here. Colvin, top position, false reap entry from the bottom. At least he's looking for it. Is Rodriguez again? Colvin, super aware. As long as he doesn't let that far side shoulder cross his hip, he is fine. And I think he's more than aware of that. Good. Goes over top on the Kimura. Man, Rodriguez was ready for it. He was he's gonna ready end for that. So I don't know who, who else is watching this, like with my attitude or like who gives a fuck. But you gotta remember, like, dude, someone's gonna walk away with ten fucking thousand dollars. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah, that's ridiculous. If they sub everyone, they can walk away with ten k. But still, thousands it's, and thousands of dollars are on the line here. Billions um, and billions and billions of pounds. Yeah. And then whoever wins the whole thing gets a super fight in Ukraine. <laughs> we may or may not be making up the prizes. Yes. <laughs> Get an armored tank. 
quarter arm bar here from the bottom. Colvin is going to use that to pry his arm free. Let's see if he can. Man, I'll tell you, Rodriguez is just so active from the bottom. And, yo, Colvin hasn't stopped moving the entire time. Dude, you keep saying his name is Colvin. All I hear is Colvin. Yeah, no, but all I hear is Colvin. Colvin. <laughs> now, that's what you want to hear. Yo, Rodriguez versus Colvin. You want to hear it because you, you've fallen victim to it. Trolling at top arm. Butterfly in here for Rodriguez. You see him scoot away again. Yes. Colvin just so aware. Incredible balance. Going to step I mean, back up, just, pull that leg just free. See how much of a vet he is. Now we are probably just over 30 seconds to remain to where we'll see an OT. Again, winner of this is going to move on to the quarterfinals to take on Gracie Tampa's Dan Martinez. And the thing is here is, you, you know, I mean, the person who doesn't know much about grappling, you want to walk in here and see a bunch of submissions. These are, these are the top guys in the world. Yeah. In this, in this weight division. To, to come here and get sub after sub, it's going to be very, very difficult. Because everybody in this bracket is high, high level. At the highest level. Looks like we have a little back take. Yes, he did. Oh, There's that oh, truck oh. again. We saw that from Martinez. That's Almost hit the fitted. twister at the end. Rodriguez. Colvin really trying to pay attention to getting his shoulders to the mat. Two, one, and that's it. That's overtime. Oh, okay, we are. 30 oh, seconds. Okay, 30 seconds. we were off on the time. So there's still 30 seconds to go here. Look at him. He's going to try to move. Uh, I thought he was going to try to move up for that head and arm, but Colvin, big turn in. <laughs> right on the edge here. We're on very short time inside the closed guard. They're going to move back to center. So who do you think advantage-wise, uh, you know, on EBI rules, uh, Jay? I mean, you on guys, this? So, Hunter? I think Hunter has more experience right. in the rule set, but I, I think a lot has to be said about the technical abilities of Sebastian Rodriguez, where while he hasn't done a ton of the actual time uh, uh, rule set, OT rule set, yeah. I think that his skills technically make up a bit for that, but I'll tell you, there's nothing... Than experience. You just see a lot of a lot of guys who, when they get to OT, are not really familiar with the rule set. So some, you know, become complacent, feel like it's okay to sit there, you know, lose track of the time. And then you see guys who, who literally train for that, who yeah. are specialists when it comes to OT. And definitely, once it goes OT, they're at the top of their game because they that's where they uh, succeed. Um, so we'll see how this goes here. So Hunter chooses the back, and they just set up in any way, not facing the camera or nothing. <laughs> He's ready to go. Offense set, defensive set, top of the first. We are a go. Colvin on the back, Rodriguez. Rodriguez was boogieing so that strong. spine misalignment quick, but Flieger for it off. Beautiful body triangle. Suley have stretch, maybe. Oh, look at this. He's throwing the threat with that left arm. Yo, that threat with the left arm, like throwing a heart. There it is. Oh, he's still got beautiful back control here. Yeah, with your ability, when you can't slam, like, man, you take away your ability to do, like, when you're standing in that position and you can't slam, I, man, a big threat across the face with a forearm, you know what I mean? That really, uh... I see a pair of bow tie leather. I'm going to say those are not leather, though. I'm going to say those flip-flops that are that are left there are definitely from Payless. <laughs> Body triangled off here. here from the back. Is Colvin restarted in the middle? Right back on it. Gets that right, arm back up over the head. The side. He yeah. needs to really get them shoulder blades down. Look at the foot pummeling, too. Look yeah. at the foot pummeling. See how he's trying to step on it and get his leg under? But Colvin is throwing so many threats to the upper body that he's, he's forcing so him to have to keep his hands up. He's so nasty on that back position. You see him clear it off to the side now. you got to love seeing how he's removing that arm to the other side to try to uh, get his back uh, to the ground here. And he's doing it. He's, he's, he's progressing. He's progressing. He's almost out, almost out. Rodriguez is almost out. He's Shoulders clear. It's still trucked, so he's still yep, caught. And now he's out. Yep. All right, OT, first round time of OT. There. What we got time-wise? 135 on that. 135. Ride time for start. Colvin. Yep. Rodriguez now starting. Colvin. Colvin definitely in a good position here. He's in a good position for him to get his left uh, left shoulder down. 
but Rodriguez seems to have a really, really good, nice, tight lock. See what he's focusing on? Ear to ear. Yep. He's so focused on his head to head that it's making uh, you know Hunter really have to hand fight and not focus on the legs because he has to start moving that upper half of his body. I would like to see Rodriguez's head on the other side of the pole. So uh, the biggest. Still tight, head to head. See, look at the focus on his head position, right? His he, he is so focused on keeping his ear next to Hunter's ear mm -hmm. that Hunter's shoulders getting to the mat is going to be really, really difficult, really difficult. And especially when you're you're not so much focusing on the finish, but really focusing on the control. He's out. Gets that shoulder free, and he is out. So that's going to be. I'd say maybe. What do we got? Forty-two. 140. Oh, wow. So he's wow. ahead. So he's, so he's ahead. ahead. Five seconds. Is it five seconds? Yo, now, you wonder, are the coaches, I don't see timers on the coaches. No. So I don't know that the coaches actually know how much time. That's beautiful by Hunter. Triton Fight Center, Brothers Jiu Jitsu, Hunter Colvin going to move on to the quarterfinals to take on Dan Martinez. Vontae's uh, next, and then we've got. Before we go to our next match, we're going to give a shout out to all our sponsors that made this 